Hello, and welcome back to the Inspire Life podcast. This is Michael, your producer and host. And today, I'm really pumped to have an awesome guest, Jeremy Scott Fitness, on the show. Jeremy is a trainer, a coach, an athlete, former bodybuilder. He's also an author, podcaster, app developer, and he's really just someone who embodies health and fitness as a way of life. So I'm not going to go too deep into introducing him in this intro. You'll hear plenty within the episode. Uh, I did want to let you know that this episode is brought to you by Inspire Life Chiropractic Center, where we stand for your health being inspired by choice. And in particular today, we're talking about our Inspire Life Immersions. Our next one is happening November 3rd through the 6th, 2022. This is an opportunity for you to step away and to fully immerse yourself in a community where you're going to be doing healing, education, and learning skills that you can bring back with you into your life going forward. So we do have a few spots available. And again, the dates are November 3rd through the 6th, 2022. If you are interested, please give us a call. It's at 651-756-1218. Also, you can reach out to us via email at connect at inspirelifechirocenter.com. So without further ado, let's jump into the episode. All right, guys, welcome to the Inspire Life podcast. Uh, This is Michael, your producer and co-host. Today, super pumped to have an awesome guest, Jeremy Scott Fitness. I feel like fitness might actually be your last name at this point, but Uh, Jeremy is originally from Winona, Minnesota, uh, and he now lives in Scottsdale, Arizona. And he's a former, I don't know, current bodybuilder, uh, trainer, coach, author, speaker, podcaster, nutrition expert, and now an app developer. So a man of many hats, but someone who is just deep with knowledge. And uh, according to his website, also was voted one of the top 50 sexiest trainers in the United States (laughs) multiple years. So I just wanted to throw that out there. Uh, That might've been a little bit ago, but still good looking guy. And, you know, he really just, when it comes to a trainer, when it comes to a coach, he really walks the walk. And when it comes to fitness, nutrition, health, he really leads his clients by example. And I was actually introduced to Jeremy's content last November. My buddy's like, Hey, you want to do this Thanksgiving day workout? And I was like, yeah, this sounds, this sounds fun. And he showed me the workout. I was like, this is insane. Right. (laughs) It was like that thousand rep challenge. So uh, I've been listening to your podcast ever since. I actually had the honor to visit your gym, the pleasure to, and I'm planning to do that again uh, in November when I'm down in Arizona. So Jeremy, happy to have you. Also with that, just, you know, if you want to tell us your kind of your story. So how did you go from, you know, Jeremy from Winona, Minnesota to Jeremy Scott Fitness, the global brand? Yeah, thanks, man. Uh, you know, just a normal dude, like, uh, like I just, uh, you know, found something that I didn't uh, hate to do. Uh, in a reality, I mean, the, the long and short of it, how I moved here, I, I didn't have any money, I didn't have any resources, I didn't know what the hell I was doing. I didn't really even Google like search Scottsdale, Phoenix, anything. Um, I just like had like had enough, and uh, I packed up my car with everything I had, and I just drove across the country, and I had a handful of buddies who lived here, and I just rented uh, a bedroom from one of my friends, and kind of just slowly navigated it out um, that way. I mean, I played sports uh, forever, so I'm naturally, I guess, athletic, if you will. And I always liked the, uh, you know, you, you don't love the conditioning, like in sports, fitness is like, it's like punishment. Uh, but in mm-hmm. some ways I liked the part where you could get better. So like watching as a kid, like you watch Rocky and all the Arnold movies. And like, I was always into that. And I loved the aspect of like, not, you know, just bodybuilding in itself, but I liked you could make yourself, you know, whether it's bigger and stronger and faster. And the older I got in the more, you know, you're not a kid and you're not invincible anymore. You realize how important it is to eat and to train a certain way. And that's, you know, kind of how I fell in love with it. And then obviously, you know, living here in Scottsdale, even, you know, 15 years ago when I kind of started doing this here, it's um, knee driven. Uh, then the, the There is an emphasis on movement and health uh, that's not the same in a lot of places. And then obviously the boom of, of the internet's kind of changed uh, everything. Yeah. It's huge. And your, your story, I think, like you say, I mean, you're just a normal guy, right? And getting to meet you, seeing that, and just what you've learned in your career and how you've been able to transmute your information and the way that you practice just a healthy lifestyle to inspire thousands of people, right? So I'm curious too. take me. So, I mean, the start of Jeremy Scott Fitness, I know before that you've shared on your podcast, you worked for Men's Health, 
uh, and it was kind of just progression, right? You got a gym and, you know, what, what were the kind of steps of taking your brand from, you know, you were a gym, you just wanted to help people to now having a podcast and, you know, hundreds of thousands of people who follow you and really intake your content and, and are changing their lives based upon, you know, what you're doing. Yeah. I mean, I was, you know, I had a normal job like anybody else. I just didn't, uh, I didn't love it and uh, don't do it how I did it. I quit and had no clients and, and no money and was paying, you know, rent on the space I couldn't afford, which was not smart. But I just figured I'm like, if I wasn't going to pull the trigger, then I'm like, you know, when was I going to do it? And, you know, I will say when you're younger, you have like less to lose. Right. And so I figured if I sucked, I would go back and do the same kind of crappy job. And I never, when I started doing this, there was no Instagram. There was like podcasting was, you know, maybe Rogan had one and that's probably about it. It just wasn't the same. And so I didn't start off with this idea of like, oh man, it's gonna, we're going to talk to millions of people and do all this crazy shit. It was more so, can I just not hate my day-to-day life? And can I get basically you know, a hundred people, you know, to believe in kind of what I'm doing in the local community. And so what I would tell anybody is no matter where you're starting at, and now you have a lot of tools that I didn't have, you know, 15 plus years ago, but if you can be awesome with the, the 20 people that you work with every day, if you're just a coach or whatever it is, or you own a gym or you're part of one, also with those 20 people, with those hundred people, with those 200 people, because it's the thing you do, like that's your referral system, that's your community. I value that more than, than anything else. Like monetary wise, obviously internet, we can make a ton of money. But that was everything to me. So I'm like, if I can just like who I hang out with every day and really help them and give a shit about them, like the other stuff naturally just kind of spreads like wildfire. Now, obviously I did certain things to, you know, grow it and build it the the way that it is now, but that's kind of the the thesis of it. I said, if I could take that, what we've done here in Scottsdale and give that to people online. And if I can somehow verbally or visually like display that to people all over the world, maybe we can build a community that's digital as well. And that's kind of what's happened here. Yeah, that's huge. Just to kind of sum up what you said, something that if you listen to our podcast, you know, we're all about Inspire Life and Inspire Co is community. And then two with that is just you are very, you're not like you don't have a, a pompous attitude towards it. You're just like, you know, I will never forget when I reached out to you the first time, I was like, is this dude actually going to like respond to my Instagram message? And you did. And the questions that I asked, you went in depth and actually answered them. And that's, I think, a, a big part of your success. And you'll probably say the same thing okay. is the fact that you just focus on the people and serving the people, you know, whether they're your clients or not, you're just here, you want to help people genuinely. And that's just paid so many dividends to you in so many different ways. Uh, and it's just been, it's fun to watch and fun to hear you and see how you interact with people. So going off that too. So, I mean, I obviously have tons of questions that I want to ask you, but I'm just curious, you know, if we look at your, you're an anomaly, you're very different, um, you're built different, but when it comes to nutrition and training, maybe a little bit about what it is that you do. And also what would you recommend? Cause a lot of our listeners are just getting into it. Um, they're definitely more novice when it comes to training, maybe not as much nutrition information. So what are some kind of key things that you would give to our listeners so that they can hear it, you know, from a different perspective and from someone who, again, if you check out Jeremy's socials, you'll see that he definitely knows what he's talking about with fitness and nutrition. So yeah, if I could elaborate on that. Yeah. For most people, you know, it's the common sense stuff that you probably already know baseline. It's just, if you can eat real food, you're already doing better than probably 80% of people that are out there. When I say real food, it's I'm, not that it can't be in a bag or a box, but it's just less processed. So things that run, they swim, they fly, they grow from the earth, your fruits, your vegetables, the lean proteins, the things that look in their most natural form with minimal added stuff that, that shouldn't be there. That's a great place to start. If you looked at most of your meals, if it was protein, produce, and water, you guys are doing great. I'm not not saying you can't drink a beer and have pizza and stuff like go, but those things are, they're more sporadic in your diet. That's not the base of what you do. It's like, if you build a house, you're not going to build it on a, you know, a foundation of quicksand. You're going to have a nice slab of concrete. And then obviously every spot doesn't got to be perfect in your yard. I go, but the base is what is solid. And that's kind of how you think about the food part. And then with the training, you know, we, it's a low hanging fruit, right? Like just walking. Most people don't walk nearly enough. So get up off your ass, obviously and move a little bit, you know, whatever that step number is for you guys, it's going to be, if it's 5,000, if it's 10,000 and for workouts, you got, you got to, you got to try a little bit, right? Like you can do stuff if you love, like you can do yoga, you can bike, you can hike, you can swim. I get all that. But as you get older, 
I just think if you have a goal and accountability and a coach, typically in a community, whether that be digitally or in person, and if you can show up to the gym three times a week and kind of do some, some shit that you hate, and I don't mean it like that. I just mean like the harder workouts, you're pushing a sled, you're doing pushups, you're squatting, the things that you're probably not going to do on your own, or at least not at the same pace and scale. If you did that three times a week, every week for 52 weeks, and you just walked and ate real food, you would live the most amazing, healthy life. And you could do things that you know, people half your age, you know, wouldn't be able to do. And that's the easiest answer that nobody really wants to hear because it's something you're gonna have to do in, until you die. Absolutely. Yeah. It's, it's the no bullshit answer. There is no secret. There's no magic pill powder, whatever it's going to be. Obviously there's things that can supplement and help, but at the end of the day, got to move your body. Uh, I always say it too. Walking is the most underrated form of exercise. I really like that you touched on resistance training. Uh, three days a week, if we look at just the evidence, having muscle mass as we age is probably one of the most important, if not the most important thing to longevity and healthy aging. Uh, and then with nutrition, I love to, and you know, I love that you share all of this and you also live the life, right? Like you'll share Instagram stories of you drinking Mick Golden when you're, when you're in Minnesota, right? Like you can have beers here and there, but it's not an everyday thing. You just really got to focus on fiber and protein. Like we talk about here. Uh, and having that be the base, like you said, and then having some fun things here and there, it's not going to completely throw you off. So I uh, appreciate you sharing on that. I do want to segue into as well, uh, your new app, which is really cool. You've been talking about it a ton. I would love if you could just share for our audience, your app and how they can you know, check it out if they're interested. Yeah, it's uh, basically, we did it for a handful of reasons. Like we've been on the internet for, I think almost a decade now, but the way that I look at stuff like technology is a one-way street. Um, whether you like that or not, it's reality. We're not going backwards. Like we're not doing newspapers, that shit's dead. So I was like, well, how can we do something? You know, as long as I'm going to do this, who knows? I could quit tomorrow. I could do it for, you know, 30 more years. I just know if we can make it more accessible to people and, more bite sizable and consumable, that's where the app comes into play because we live on apps and Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, all your banking, everything. So we took basically a thousand workouts off the bat are in there. Um, programs for everybody, whether you're at home and you only have dumbbells, whether it's Metcon stuff, if it's full follow along there, we basically have everything for anybody, no matter the gym setup, because we're we try to reach the biggest base possible. Now, if you don't like me or how I train, whatever, then that's fine. You, you go use somebody else, but we try to give things that anybody can do. So it's not like I do share all my weekly workouts. So you'll get what I actually do every single week. If you're a, a lunatic and you want to do Insanity. that stuff. <laughs> yeah. And if you want to do something different, we're like, Hey, I, I train at home. We have those do as well. We break things down into categories, upper body, lower body, there's mobility, there's nutrition. We have a huge mindset piece. And what we did is we took all of our guides, um, or I should say a lot of them, uh, and give them to people. So like, if it's about macros, if it's about uh, like a grocery store list, if you want a smoothie guide, if you want a protein, like pack recipe guide, if it's the supplements we take, I talk through everything in there. So we try to make it like a one, a one stop for people who can't come with us. And honestly, a lot of our members in house use it uh, when they travel as well. So uh, it's definitely, it's a ton of work and it's a much bigger pain in the ass uh, than I thought, but uh, it's the, it's super cool because you can build a community because of how the technology is, which is nice. And then we can incentivize a lot of stuff where it's like we give away trips in there for people. So we try to make it, you know, as, as fun as possible. And if you're even a relatively on the fence type of fitness person, there'll be something in there for you. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, and you do a lot. So, I mean, I know you started at a, do a dollar a month. This isn't a launch in September, so it might not be there anymore. But like you said, it's just it, it makes it fun and it makes it you know, it's not just you you know, going to the gym, anytime fitness, whatever it is, and just trying to like kick your own ass. Like you've got a lot of external accountability as well as people who are doing these things with you, which just, you know, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. That's kind of the old adage that we go by here. So uh, thank you for sharing that. Also too, um, I'll include all the links in the, in the show notes, but I'm curious, how can our, our listeners get in touch with you? Where can they find you? Um, and where's the best place maybe for them to, to reach out to you on the internet? Yeah. I mean, all our stuff, it's, it's basically Jeremy Scott fitness is everything. So if you Google it, everything kind of pops up. Uh, Jeremy Scott fitness app is the actual app, but that's where Jeremy Scott fitness on Instagram, on Facebook, YouTube. Uh, honestly, if you do Instagram DMS, I've gotten pretty good. We have a pretty good system down, but even if it's email, it can be Jeremy at Jeremy's fitness. I'm happy to answer. And even like, uh, we do still have the dollar trial for the app. I'm sure we'll take it away at some point, but, uh, we'll do something still to get people in. So anybody if listens like, Oh, check it out. It's a dollar. If you think it sucks, just quit, dude. You got to see it for a month for a buck. 
Like we don't make any money on that, obviously. But if you do ask a question, like most people will know inside the app, we, there's not one that's never been answered. Uh, obviously, we've, it's been going for a couple months now, and you can imagine if you have thousands of people in there, how many questions you get. I answer every single one myself. It's not some bot. It's not somebody on my team. It's actually fucking me doing it. So, and I'm not trying to sell you on it. I don't care what people do, but I don't think you get that a lot. And that's like the one thing that we try to do is actually answer the questions and help people put them in a in a place to be successful. So, absolutely, yeah. And you know, like I said at the start, this guy he is not going to hesitate to help you out if he if you have a question or something that you need some support with so appreciate you jeremy uh last question before we end this has been a a fun episode what's the most important thing that you just want our listeners to take away from our talk today uh you can go any direction with this you know if you guys are you know i'm assuming you're listening because you have like some interest in in being healthier in living a healthier life and you know it's tough because in the fitness this industry, especially the side that I grew up in and I'm still a part of, how you look is, is predicated so much on a lot of it. And so people will see you, and this is what we do. We, we judge people no matter what. You know, the biggest, I think, discrimination is, is off of how people look. Like if you're attractive, if you're big, if you're small, if you're this. And so you'll see me, and like if I play into the part, like, oh, he's just a dude with muscles, like, and he's shirtless and sweating in a gym. What a fucking loser. Um, you know, and I get, I get it, dude. I would probably think the same thing if I saw myself. But it's like a sizzle and steak, right? So like we do that to get eyeballs on our stuff. And then when you come in, we actually help you guys. And so when you guys are looking at fitness, it's not just a vanity driven thing, even though in the profession, in the industry, that's kind of how we sometimes frame it and sell it because it's, you know, the sex part of it kind of sells. But the reality is it's so much more than that. So when you guys are going to be healthier, I'm not saying don't have a physical goal. Like if you want to lose weight and be leaner and, and wear a smaller pant size, that stuff's great that's like a byproduct of you living a healthier lifestyle. And that's where I think sometimes people get confused. Maybe if you look at someone like me or like friends of mine who are all kind of in this weird vanity driven space, we do it to be healthier inside. And I don't just mean like the food you eat, obviously that's every cell of your body. So how you eat is going to dictate obviously how you move, how you look, how you feel, but even more so like how you think. And what you gain from fitness is so much more than just like biceps or or quads or hamstrings. You build a self-confidence in yourself. You're callousing your mind consistently. You're building this resiliency. So when stuff happens to you in real life, you've already kicked the shit out of it in the gym in some way, shape, or form. And you can do that in your other life. And, and, I, and I know it's, it's weird to hear, but when you've done stuff physically that most people won't do or that you didn't think was possible for you, you, you build this strength just like anything else in your mind, just like you do the physical body. And so when you go to a gym or you're part of a community, it's not just physical fitness. There's like, a, there's a social component to it. There's an emotional component to it. And for some people, even spiritual, I mean, it is where does that sound? So it's given me everything in my life. Like if I didn't do this, I'd probably be dead or in jail, who fucking knows, but like it's changed who I am as a person. And it's almost like when you do it enough, you crave it. And it's just something you look forward to every day. I couldn't imagine not having this body and be able to move and think the way that I do. And so just, Look at it from, I'm going to make myself healthy on the inside. I'm going to mentally make myself healthy. And the byproduct is you're going to start to feel stronger, move better, have more endurance. And then you'll, you know, look, you know, however way you want to look, but there's so much more to it than that. So don't just go into it saying, well, if I don't drop the pant size, I'm not making progress because you're making so much more progress than you even realize. You just haven't seen it in the mirror yet because you're not looking in the right places. Absolutely. It all starts internal, right? You know, our listeners, we know that uh, health is an internal phenomenon first and the physical follows what goes on internally. And like you said, mental, physical, emotional, spiritual, it's all connected. And then too, it can become like a healthy addiction, which is basically what fitness has come for me as well. So Jeremy, awesome pleasure to have you um in the future probably have to have you on again because there's just so many other questions that i have for you but really appreciate you taking the time to to be on the podcast today and for all of our listeners as always until next time keep inspiring thanks again jeremy thanks bro thanks for tuning into the inspire life podcast today Make sure you check out Jeremy Scott Fitness on all the social media apps, and he has a ton of good information to help you start or catalyze your journey. Also, if you can, please leave us a five-star review on iTunes or Spotify. It goes a long way into getting our message out and helping us continually to get awesome guests just like Jeremy on our podcast. And last but not least, 
head on over to Facebook and join the Inspired Twin Cities community. That's where Dr. Mel and I share all of our content to help you continue to live your most inspired and thriving life. And of course, as always, until next time, keep inspiring. Thank you.